Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the missing angles in the following quadrilaterals. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, we have ABCD is a rectangle. We have to find angles X, Y and Z. Properties of a rectangle, all the angles are 90 degrees. I'm going to put that in the diagram as shown. We know that opposite sides are parallel and equal. So I have AC parallel to BD, AB parallel to CD. Also, the line AC is equal to the line BD. To find X, X is equal to 105 degrees. The reason being, it's vertically opposite because we can see the two straight line intersecting. And we know that vertically opposite angles are equal. The next angle, a Y, is equal to 55 degrees. The reason being, it's an alternate angle because the lines AC is parallel to the line BD. So alternate, I'm going to draw the angle as shown so we can see that angle Y is alternate to angle at D, which is 55 degrees. Also, we know that the angle at D equals to 90 because all the angles in a rectangle are 90 degrees. So we have angle Z plus 55 degrees equals to 90. The reason being, it's angle in a rectangle. Therefore, angle Z equals 90 degrees minus 55 degrees. Therefore, angle Z equals 35 degrees. Let's look at the next example. In the next example, we have the parallelogram as shown. We know it's a parallelogram because the opposite sides are parallel. If I tag the angle at E, E1 and E2, then we can state that the angle E1, E1 is equal to 52 degrees. The reason being that's an alternate angle. Why is it alternate? Because the line EH is parallel to the line FG. So going back to the diagram, we can see an alternate angle as shown such that E is alternate to 52 degrees. Also, we know that the sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So looking at the triangle highlighted as shown, we have angle at E, that's 52 degrees, plus 67 degrees, plus Y equals 180 degrees. The reason being the sum of angles in a triangle. We have Y plus 52 plus 67, 119 degrees, equals 180 degrees. Therefore, Y equals 180 degrees minus 119 degrees, and that will give us y equals 61 degrees. Also, we can see that y is equal to x, as shown in the diagram. The reason being, they are vertically opposite angles. So we have angles y equals to x equals to y, or y equals to x which is equal to 61 degrees. The reason being, they're vertically opposite angles, and vertically opposite angles are equal. Let's look at the next example. In the next example, we can show that the angle at I plus the angle at L will give us 180 degrees. The reason being, they are core interior angles, and core interior angles Add up to 180. Why are they co-interior? Because the line IJ 
is parallel to the line LK. So therefore, X plus 20 degrees plus X will give us 180 degrees. X plus X will give us 2X plus 20 degrees equals 180 degrees. Taking our 20 degrees to the other side, we have 2X equals 180 degrees minus 20 degrees. 2X equals 160 degrees. Therefore, divided both sides by 2, we have X equals 160 degrees divided by 2, which is equal to 80 degrees. So what we've been able to show is that because of the parallel lines, the two angles shown add up to 180 degrees because they are co interior angles. In our last example, we have a parallelogram shown, MNO. It's been shown that the opposite sides of the quadrilateral are parallel, so that's a parallelogram. And we know that opposite sides of a parallelogram have equal angles. So therefore, our opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So we have angles 114 degrees being equal to x plus x. The reason being opposite angle of a parallelogram. So therefore, we have this angle being equal to this angle. That's one of the properties of a parallelogram. We have 114 degrees equals to 2x, x plus x, dividing both sides by 2, 2 into 1. Therefore, we have x equals 57 degrees. Thanks for watching. Bye.